What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on your unsupported system using flash drive. So for example, if you downloaded PC health check to run and see if your system is supported by Windows 11 and it's not, I'll show you how to create Windows 11 USB drive and it will work. So first, for example, if you need to know if your system is compatible or not, you can go to this website and I will leave link in the description below. Just press on download PC health check app, go through the installation process, and then you'll have the same window like I have right now. And then you'll have to press check now. And then if your system is going to be supported, you'll get a green check mark here. If not, then most likely you're going to see screen something like this here. So here's what we need to do. We can close this app now, go back to your internet browser, and then open this website. And I will also leave a link in the description below and then scroll down right here and in here we will download windows 11 disk image iso so we'll press right here select download windows 11 and then press on download and then in here we'll have to choose our language and then press on confirm and in here we need to press on 64-bit download and then right here just press on save and it's going to start downloading while it's downloading we need to go to this website, Rufus, and then we need to download Rufus. So scroll down and for this video tutorial, I'm just going to be downloading portable version and make sure if you have already on your computer, make sure yours is 3.16 or higher. And then same thing, press on save. And now we just have to wait until it's going to download Windows 11 ISO. Once the download is complete, we can minimize this window. We need to navigate to download folder and then in download folder before we're going to run Rufus, we need to insert our USB flash drive into our computer. The one we're going to use to create Windows 11 installation. Once you have flash drive plugged in, double click on Rufus and then press yes right here. Then in here we can press no. Now this window is going to appear. Make sure to choose that flash drive. The one you just plugged in make sure you don't have any data on there because this program will format the drive so make sure if you have any data copy or back it up somewhere else then in here we need to press on select and then navigate to your downloads and then downloads choose windows 11 and then press on open then right here where it says image option we need to drop down this menu and set to extended windows 11 installation no TPM, no secure boot, choose that. And then right here, I'm gonna choose to MBR because I have older system, I don't have UEFI on my computer. And then you can rename the volume, I'm just gonna name it Windows 11, but you can leave it as default and then press on start. Then we'll get this message, it's basically stating all the data on the device will be destroyed, press OK. And now we just have to wait until it's going to create our Windows 11 bootable flash drive. Once the process is done, you can press on close here and eject your flash drive. Plug in your flash drive with Windows 11 into your computer. And now we need to restart our system. And once it's going to be booting up, we need to press on F12 to boot into the boot menu. Then in here, we need to choose our USB drive. Mine is very top one, the USB generic mass storage, and then press enter. And then enter one more time or any other keys to boot from USB. And right here, just press on next and then install now. And then at this time, you can press I don't have the product key, but if you have one, you can enter right now. And in here we need to choose which version we're going to install. I'm just going to choose Windows 11 Pro and then next. Then accept terms and conditions and then next. And then in here we're going to press on custom installation. And then we need to delete the partitions. And then select unallocated space and then next. And that's it. 
Now we just have to wait until it's going to install Windows 11. Okay, once the installation is complete, you'll be presented with the screen and we just have to go through the setup process right here. Choose your country and then press yes, language, then we can skip a layout. And then at this time, I'm just going to press I don't have internet and then continue with limited setup name who's going to be using password or we can skip for right now. Just press next. I'll turn this off. And then accept. Okay, that's it. I was able to install Windows 11 on unsupported device. All the links and the websites that I use in this video, I'm going to leave in the description below. And if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.